Hi everyone. It's days. Today I'm going to show you the contents of this little jewelry box that I have here. And it's all of my silver jewelry. So I'll be showing you some pendants and rings and a couple of bracelets this is a lovely gloomish type finish to this box And I just recently finished mending some broken bits on this. I had to glue some things back together because it's uh, well used. You may have seen some of the jewellery here in some of my past videos. So we might start over here in this pocket or compartment. Here I have some fresh water pearls. I used to wear the pearls a lot in the nineties. <laughs> I still wear it from time to time. green cat's eyes, three beads, and some pearls with some crystal beads in between. Some more pearls. 
these aren't deep sea pearls or anything. This necklace, I was gifted this um, as a bridesmaid's gift when I was a bridesmaid for my sister, for my older sister. This one here is over 20 years old. Probably more close to 30 years old actually. jewellery store sale, the jeweller's sale. It has um, crisp, uh, cubic zirconia, uh, little waves of the silver in between. I really like it but it's uh, very sharp around the setting of each of the zirconias and it catches on clothes quite easily so I don't wear this one much at all. Couple of bracelet uh, brooches here. It's a cute little ghost. to wear this when I used to ghost hunt years ago. And another little brooch. They used to be uh, very fashionable in the 80s. We used to wear them on the outside of uh, jackets or coats. I think my mother-in-law gave me this one. Okay, let's move over to the wings over here. This is a uh, a ring for my little pinky. Just a, quite simple, but I like it when I'm wearing just a ring on my middle finger or one of the other fingers here. It always looks nice with any of the other rings. This ring is a beautiful baby blue mother of pearl. Set in a nice solid silver setting. This one's a little bit tight to wear, so I won't pop that right on. Here we have a flower design, the centre being a citrine stone. Surrounding the citrine is a little rope design and surrounding that are little dots of silver. So this one's a nice one to wear. I'm finding as I get older, I'm locking my rings a little bit bigger. This is a beautiful turtle, as 
You may know if you're following me my channel, I love turtles. And this turtle has some topaz in the middle. Blue topaz. It's got lovely lace design on the shell with the silver. I wish the shell would open. So he's very cute. And he's, he can sit on either fingers. I have two one of my favourite stones, two rings made with the moonstone. They have beautiful pearlescent whites, blues and lilacs as you move them around. Some of my jewellery need a good clean, especially this one because I wear it quite often. It's very nice. And I have a couple of, or oh, a pair of moonstone earrings to match those. And a necklace which are in one of these pockets. I'll show you that in a little bit. But they're the earrings. a bigger box. I want to get a box this size just for rings so I can space them out a little bit better. So this ring, I'm not quite keen on the way the stone's sitting horizontally. I'd prefer it vertically along my finger, but this is, uh, what's this, either tiger's eye or cat's eye, lovely golden brown, it's a nice colour to wear in autumn. Then I have two garnet rings. This one has a marcuset missing, it's surrounded by some marcusets. Again, a floral design. I bought this years ago, this is probably over 20 years old. I need to get the stone replaced. And my other garnet ring is quite new, I bought this last year. Just a simple setting again, but I love the, the brown-red colour of the garnet. This ring is a lapis lazuli. Lazuli. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Again, another one of my favourite stones. Beautiful blue hues and gold flecks throughout. And see how this ring is sitting nice and vertical with my finger. I think that setting suits me better. The Tree of Life. Another one of my favourite rings. Nice and big so you can see all the detail. A lovely amethyst, it's got a little scratch there. Just 
the simply cut amethyst stone here. Nice and smooth. Another one of my favourite stones is turquoise. This one has no veining in it and they're quite hard to get now. I don't see these, this um, light baby blue hue anymore. Or not much anyway. Again, sitting on a simple setting of silver. Pearl, pearl ring. I like wearing this when I wear any lace tops. Just looks nice, I think. Nice and romantic. Okay. Moving on to this compartment here, we have a couple more rings that won't fit over here. So this is a peridot, beautiful green stone. Like I said, I'm going, I tend to be going for the bigger rings as I get older. When I was younger, I used to wear the smaller dainty rings, which I still like, but it's a pretty setting. Surrounded by rope designs and studs. A nice thick band. And wide. This one is an adjustable ring and it has a dragonfly on the top. I got this on sale the other week actually, it was only $20 down from about $120. I don't know if the camera will pick up the gold on the dragonfly, but it's Pretty pretty. This is a, another favourite of mine. Bought it from the crystal shop. It's a Druzy. Here we go. Sometimes I keep the little bits of information they give you about the stone. Druzy crystal, titanium coated. A druzy is a thin coating of quartz crystals on a piece of quartz or agate. It is good for purifying and healing. This piece has been titanium treated to give it that extra sparkle. So there's the sparkly bit is the druzy. And then it's sitting on a bit of agate. Or agate, depending on how you pronounce it. It's quite pretty. Another nice ring to wear in the warmer month, in the cooler month, sorry. In uh, autumn and winter. This ring needs to clean, it's looking a bit dark. But it's a uh, moonstone. There's two moonstones there, some topaz and some pearl. I really like this ring. And I bought this one last year. Onyx or Onx. Black. 
positive thinking eases fear, pressure and depression, soothes anxiety and promotes balance, aids decision making with objectivity, strengthens willpower. So I like this ring because it matches anything that I'm wearing. Being black. So it looks like we're getting on to the pendants. This is a turquoise ball. See the veining throughout and surrounding the ball is a cute little dragon. He's hugging the ball. lovely moon pendant that I bought online. It was only a few dollars. It's a chibi. And this round thing here looks like the earth. That's a nice one to wear. My daughter has gifted me some beautiful pieces of jewellery over the years and this is one of them. It's a lovely Indian ruby, I think. On sterling silver. She did get me a nice chain with it, which isn't this one. This one's just a cheap chain. Um, but I like to swap over the pendants on my good chains, so... This is a sterling silver chain with the sterling silver pendant, a tree of life. My daughter gifted me this when I was into ghost hunting. I used to wear it as protection. This is a lovely solid pendant with some quartz and peridot at the bottom there. There's topaz, two topaz stones which have been polished and cut nicely and in between the topaz is sitting a natural piece of quartz crystal left in its natural state and it gives it a beautiful rustic look. I really like it. My unicorn pendant needs a clean. Another gift from my daughter. A beautiful owl. And I popped this little um, crystal pendant on the chain and it makes it look like uh, the moon, the owl and the moon. And the last one for this compartment is another gift from my daughter from quite a few years ago when she first started working and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight moonstones. I like to wear that when I wear the earrings. And the last compartment 
we have? My daughter gifted me this. It says, Mum with a heart, daughter. And it has some little charms in there. A flamingo, a little purple bird, some crystals, an owl. And surrounded by some blue crystals on the outer edge. another mother of pearl white this is a star I purchased this I think it was about 80% off there was a, a shop not far from me and they were shutting down so they were getting rid of all their stock they had some beautiful pieces but I didn't have a lot of money, so I'm glad that I got something little. This is a clear quartz pendant. It's like a pendulum. With a lovely sterling silver chain. this one is. It's a beautiful green stone. A shell based pendant carved into a rose. I think that originally came with some um, ribbon or a leather strap, which looks just as nice on. Again, a nice heavy piece of lapis lazuli. Or lazul lazuli, something like that. <laughs> See the gold flecks through it, the veining. This is the chain that my daughter gave me when she bought me that ruby. more pieces, another pendant from the crystal shop. This could be bloodstone but I'm not sure. And I really love this piece as well. It could be a gate but again I tend to forget this so many different stones. It can be quite a challenge to remember what they all are. But that is a beautiful marbling effect throughout. Again, a beautiful stone to wear in autumn. So, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I've probably shown you some of these before, but just wanted to do an update video on all my silver jewellery, or most of my silver jewellery anyway. I have some earrings that I keep somewhere else. Oh, one last thing I nearly forgot. My daughter, when she went on a honeymoon, she bought me back some opal. These, she went to Brisbane for her honeymoon, but um, bought some South Australian opal, which is where I'm from, which was funny. <laughs> so, there's a few little stones there, which I'd love to make into a pendant one day. And maybe add some green and orange garnet to it. nice of her to do that for me. She's such a sweetie. Oh, I can't get this back on. There we go. Don't want to lose the stains on that. So I'm going to finish this video with a few sounds of the box. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care. And I'll see you next time.